Hey, what's poppin' guys? Sizzle here, back again with Winston Gameplay. I think this is episode 18, I'm not really 100% sure. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there's to say about the intro. Now off to the games. At least if they let us go to the games. Kind of forgot what happened in our last game. I remember losing and being kind of sad. I don't remember the full context of all that. Because episodes 1 through 17 were recorded on the same day, and this is a different day. So it's not all very clear in my mind right now. But I do hope to finish this before Season 6 ends. Mainly, honestly, probably because Hog's gonna get a rework. Because <laughs> right now, Roadhog's so ass that, like, Winston can just kind of roam free. Like, I, like your best answer is Junker Queen, and you can kind of avoid her because she can't hook you. So you can actually just jump around her and stuff. But with Roadhog, with this previous hook, it was a lot harder, at least to my opinion, a lot harder to maneuver around on Winston. Uh, but he's been completely awful for so long now that, like, you know, you're basically just throwing by picking him, at least in my opinion. Um, you know, for something called quick play, it sure is taking its time finding a match. I, I feel like, genuinely, in, in my real opinion, I know they're never going to change this, but I think Overwatch would benefit greatly if quick play removed uh, MMR. I made it to only comp as MMR. They should at least do that for the arcade modes, because, like, sometimes I try to queue 2 CP, because it's, it's actually a really fun mode, in my opinion. Uh, at least Temple of Anubis and like, no, it's, it's Temple of Anubis and like sometimes Hunter Mora. Um, sometimes I try to queue for that stuff, and I, I'll have like thirty minute queues just to play two CP because it's trying to find other people around my skill level for like twenty five minutes, and then eventually it's like, yeah, there's no one fucking else here. Let's just put like a random lobby of people together, and the games are normally really fun. Like, obviously, you want to balance. Out, like, I, I think what they should do for quick play is like. Call of Duty type matchmaking, where you make a lobby of 10 people, and then you try balancing the teams based on the SR, right? So if you get like, you know, let's say you get a, a GM player, a Masters player, and like, you know, 8 silvers or something, you put the GM on one team, you put the Masters on the other, and then you split the silvers and try to make the, the team SR balance the same, if that makes sense. Like, as close as you can get it, sometimes there's gonna be a discrepancy, but that's like the trade-off for fast queues. I think a lot of people, at least for me personally, I'd prefer fast queues over like three minute queues where I wait for a more even match or whatever. Because it'd be fun, honestly. Like, it's it's very fun. I do like, uh, I play like Pug sometimes on this one server, which we get for those who are uninformed. It just means basically like, you know, 10 people of varying skills show up and we just randomly make teams of five and fight. Uh, I've, I've done a few of those, and they've always been a really fun. And it's generally mostly like silver players, like one other Masters player, like maybe a Diamond player, so yeah. And it's always fun, so at least it seems to be. It's at least fun for me. To be fair, I haven't asked the silver players or whatever, but I can't imagine it wouldn't be fun for them, or else why would they bother showing up? Like, there's no... it's not like they have to show up. Yeah, there's not a lot to do here. <laughs> Uh, but I feel like this game could at least benefit from maybe having an option of doing that. Because I guess some people wouldn't want it, but I think most people would. Because people that care more about the MMR and being equal matches and stuff would just play calm. But I'm, I know that's also not the case, because some people just hate playing calm because they get anxious about the rank or whatever. That's like, bro, the, the difference between Silver 4 and Silver 5 or whatever is not that great. It doesn't matter if or whatever. That healing turret is ridiculous. There wasn't even like a support on me really. I literally was just getting killed by that little healing turret. I hear Bastion Rove, so let me avoid that. I see this actually. Top my team now. Oh, that's where the turret is. That's a crazy spot. Is it? Oh, never mind, that's not a crazy spot at all. I'm tripping. I, for some reason, I thought that was way better than it actually was. Go. Bastion's so worth after all this. I just don't have a reason to use Primal. Maybe I should just pop it just for the heck of it. 
But I had a I had a pretty good primal the other day, I remember on some like Symmetra or something. That felt pretty fucking good. Or just like I hit her twice, I jumped over and hit her two more times and her ass was fucking dead. Got not really much for me to do here. There's just a gap. Like, I'm literally just leaping on repeat to do like 5 damage as my team wins like a 1v5. And this is my skill is matchmaking. You know, they spent time and effort making sure this match was balanced. I mean, to be fair, I'm on a smurf, but like, there's no way my whole team is as well. Not my finest juggle, but it did work out, so, you know, who cares? <laughs> get a, a healing turret, get healed up. See, that spot seems a bit better. Can you see that from around the corner? Can, never mind. I feel like you put it a bit more to the left there, because it can still heal all the same shit. Oh, whatever. That healing turret will be really it. Once they rebalance it, which I'm not sure how they I'm genuinely curious to see how they rebalance that character without making her completely unplayable. Um, but that that if that character is like remotely good, it'll be really interesting. I'm so fucking incredibly stupid. Let me just go grab Mega if I can. Okay, yeah, they killed Hanzo. I thought he was gonna kill me. Bitch. Right. Really don't know how I'm living through half this stuff, other than they probably just assume Winston's not doing much, which is actually true in this case. I'm really not doing much. Just play around this turret. Dude. I don't think they've shot the turret yet, and that's why we're just kind of living here. <laughs> Damn, Diva's on tilt. Unlucky. If I can get the finish here, I guess I am not gonna. But like, yeah. What's the point of leaving like one second left? Because I feel like half the people that play this play this for like battle pass XP or whatever, and you just lose out on that by leaving early. Unless they change that, in which case, yeah, W. Yeah, that was uh, that was the game of all time. 5k damage is wild. What? What on Winston? I really mean 5k damage mitigated on Diva. I don't really know. It's also just weird to point people in quick play. I never really understand it. It's quick play. I do it privately, obviously, but it's like, I'm not, you know, I'm not writing this to the people because it's fucking quick play. They would like to do what they want. There's nothing wrong with that. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day.